Hi everyone, this is Robin, this is the Sudoku guy with our third of newsletter. And on this particular newsletter, I want to do a bit of revision and uh, another look at the importance of looking for a line of three numbers within a block. Here's an example, there's one there, and uh, there's one here, there's another one there, one over there. These can, uh, can very much influence the way you put small numbers in and big numbers. And you, you, it, we're looking for these is going to be very handy when you come to more difficult uh, puzzles. So, without further ado, let's get started. But, oh, when I look at that puzzle, and you've probably picked this up already, here we have a block like we had a couple of uh, sessions ago where there's two cells left, and here's two cells left in this block. So, let's look at that first before we go through the normal procedure. Uh, this is lacking a 1 and a 9. And without me putting the 1919 in because it's a matching a pair, I could say, oh, there's a 1 up there, so that'll have to be the 9, and this becomes the 1. Now let's look at the ramifications of that. Here we have two 1s. Now we have a center, we have a left. A 1 has to be down here on the right in this, this block. Uh, let's look at the 9s now. We have a left, we have a center. The 9 has to be down here or here. But there's a 9 over there. So that means that this becomes a 9 and the other one will become a 1. Well, that was very handy getting all that done just because we recognized there was two empty cells in that block. Fine, now let's push on. What about this block over here? Well, we're missing a 1 again. Uh, a 1 and a 1, 2, 3. A 1 and a 3. Without writing in 1, 3, 1, 3, let's keep it in our head. Here's a 3. So that has to be the 1. So we'll make that a 1, and therefore this becomes a 3. Now what are the ramifications of that? Let's check to see if there are any. Well, I don't see a lot. Uh, we know that... Oh, yes I do. Gee, the more you look at it, the more you find. It's so easy just to miss something. Here's a top, there's a bottom, middle has to be in here. One of these, one that one or that one. But that one means that this is cancelled out, so that for but that for that becomes a one. And now on this row, we're only left with one number left, and it's a four. One, two, three, it's a four. And let's check that out. Top, middle, bottom. Well, that was, that was neat. Um, now we also got a 3 here, over here, didn't we? What happens with that 3, I wonder? Well, there's a 3 over here. We can't have a 3 in there, so a 3 has to be down in here. So these two cells can have a little 3 in them. And uh, we made a lot of progress just by looking very quickly to see where there was two cells left in these two blocks. So we went ahead and did all the ramifications. I think I've got all the ramifications, except when I put that one in, I could have put a little one in here and a little one there. Okay, now let's go back to the normal procedure. Let's take the horizontal blocks with RAM. We have a middle, we have a bottom, we have a top. So we could have a one there, or we could have a one there. Twos. There are no twos. Let's move on. Threes. Now here is a very interesting situation. We cannot have threes in here, and we cannot have threes in here because of this line of numbers filled in. The only way you can go with a three is to go up. And if we can have a three there, because there's no three down in here, we could have a three in here, because there's no three in there, but this cell can't have a three because we've already got one. Now because of that, we have a middle, we have a top, this block has to have them in the bottom. And we'll, this 3 cancels that cell, but we can have a 3 in there and a 3 in there. Two little 3s, and that will really help us down the road. Fantastic. You see, there's a good example of the, what these can do. They can give you not only small numbers, but also big numbers sometimes. Let's go to 4s. There's no 4s. 5s. Now, here's another one, similar to what the 3 is. The 5 has to go up on top. There's no room for it here because it's taken up here. So the 5 has to go up in this area, and it could be a 3, 5, a 3, 5, and a 3, 5, because I, looking down here, I don't see any 5s. But because of that, 
we have a middle, we have a top, and there could be a 5 in here. There's a 5 down in here, so the 5 would have to be there or there. Good. Sixes. Well, a six could go several places, so I think I'll leave that for the time being. Seven, there are no sevens. Eights, there's only one eight, and it could go several places. Nines, well, here's something interesting. Top, middle, bottom. It has to be along in here, but look, there's a nine there, so this would be a nine, and that would be a nine. Now, I'm going to say that they are a matching pair. Why? Because when I, we know that a 3 has to be there or there, and we know that a 9 has to be there or there. So, we can underline it as a matching pair. And matching pairs means that you can't put any other little numbers in there, in those cells. Now let's go to these three blocks. Boy, lots of them are already done. And before I start on them, I should point out that later on in the first course we actually show you how to put the little numbers that are left in here by counting all these numbers. Um, I'm not going to do that right now but if you wish to do that on a puzzle and you see the opportunity by all means go ahead. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. So there's so many different ways to cook an egg. Now let's see, we'll go through the ones are done, twos are done, threes well, we've got a three in here, not done yet. Fours, fours are done. Five, five has to be up in here somewhere. So this could be a five and a five and a five. Sixes, six, well, we have a six here and a six up here. So a six has to be down in here. It can't be in this cell because of that six. So it can be here and here. Now, should I underline that as, as a matching pair? Yes, I can. Now, let me show you why. Here, we have a 3 and a 6. So, you know your 3 and a 6 can't fit there. Here, we have a 3 and a 6 as well. So, that pretty well confirms that this is an underlined pair. There's another little hint for you. Um, sevens. Well, this is interesting. A 7, because this is an underlined pair, a 7 will have to go there because we have a middle, bottom, and a top. Nowhere else for it. Now, what is the ramification of that? Left, right, seven, and a seven. We can have a three, five, or a seven here, or a seven there. Now, let's push on to eight. Eight. Now, this is interesting. Eight cannot go here, because that's taken up now. It cannot go there. It has to be up on top. And let's have a look. If I put an 8 there, that won't work because there's an 8 there. If I put an 8 there, there's an 8 down here. The only place for a go for an 8 to go in that top row is right there. Now, I wonder what the ramification of that is. Is there anything? Let's have a check. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Yeah, all those 8s are there. Good. Well, pushing right along. Um, nines. Well... Here, this is interesting. Here's a 9, there's a 9, middle, has to be on the top and the bottom, but there's a 9 down here, so this becomes the 9, and this therefore becomes the 5. Well, we've got that whole row done now. Let's now go to 1 to 9 down in here. 1s, well, we could um, have 1s in several spots, but well, I can tell you because of using the cross technique down here, and across there. One can only go there or there. Um, I've just jumped ahead there just because I happened to notice it. And that's something you can do too. Once you've done a lot of practice with all these different techniques, um, if you see a cross technique that will give you something, by, here, by all means go ahead and do it. If not, later on when you finish your vertical and horizontal um, blocks with the RAM and you can't find any more and rows, columns and blocks with one or two left, then you can do your cross technique and it's a great way of finding extra numbers that you've missed. Um, twos. twos. Now here's a good example of this being a th three numbers in a line within a block. We cannot go up there with a two. We cannot have it in there. We have to have it down the bottom here. 
and if I look up here there's a 2 there so this will have to be a small 2 and that can be a small 2 but what are the ramifications of that? Because we have a middle and because we have a bottom in here up in here it has to be on the top it can go there or there but it can't go there because of that too so we now have a big two and remember I mentioned before that sometimes putting in a little number using a TMB or LCR will give you a big number there's a perfect example and now what's the ramification of that two we have a two here uh, a, a center a left there'll be two twos in here we could have a two there or we could have a two there wow threes there's only one three and it could go up and all over the place leave it four here's another good example of the ramifications or the effect of this line within the block a four can't go there and it can't go up there it has to go down the bottom it can't go in this one so it can go there and there so we'll put a one four here and a two four there if that's the case we have a middle we have a bottom a four can go up in this part middle bottom top can't go there so we can have a little four here and a little four there very important to put all these little assistants in helps you down the road um, fives there's no fives at all sixes well here we go again the effect of this line filled up here we can't have a six there it has to go down the bottom so if I look down up here there's no six in here so we could have a two six uh, we no six in here we could have a four, one four six there is a six there so it's just a two four we'll underline it because it's the only ones that can go there and in this case it's the only two six that can go there underline that wasn't very good good now let's push on um, six sevens well a seven can go in many spots I think we'll just leave that for the time being eight oh here we are bottom top has to be in the middle so it goes here well, now what's the ramification of that left center it's got to be in here or here but it can't be there because of that eight so that I guess you can say it's goodbye to that uh, eight uh, and this two sorry this becomes a two and that becomes an eight because remember we had two two in there it can't eight can't be there so it had to go up there now what's the ramification of that oh look at this top bottom has to be over here in the middle now can it be there yes can it be there no so this is where we put our eight that was very handy look we've got nearly all the eights now tremendous nines well we've got our nines down in here now we can do the vertical uh, col uh, vertical blocks let's have a look the ones are done right left center two are done center left right three well we've got two threes so a three could go there or there let's put those two little threes in uh, four we have a four and a four we could have uh, we have a center we have right a four could go here or here fives well we know we could five could be there 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 could be several spots leave it sixes well here we go this is interesting six right left center but there's a six over here so that means this becomes a six what's the ramification of that six top bottom middle here we are over here is there any ramifications of that let's have a look well we have a right we have a center and now we have a six here or here let's put a little ones in to help us good um, that was good for the sixes wasn't it sevens well we could have them there 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 we can have them in several spots leave it oh no actually I come to look at this look at this here this seven goes across there those are the two only two cells left where a seven can go so I'm going to put them in because that will help us down the road two, two empty cells I can put them in safely at this stage of uh, our learning process eights we've done nines nines we've done so now do this the middle set of vertical blocks ones well we could have a one in here but we don't know yet 
twos. Well, um, don't see and good places for twos yet. It could be in several spots, but we do know one of these is going to have to be a two. Uh, threes. Well, we've got two threes in here and two threes up in here, so don't sure about that yet. Leave it. Uh, fours. We've only got one four. Fives. We've only got one five. But listen, I've just look at this. I've five here. I didn't erase that. It's a three seven now. Three seven. Um, sixes. We've got well, several places for sixes. But it's going to be one of these two and one of these two. Um, sevens. Here we have a seven. Seven is going to be there or there. We did that before. Okay. Eights. We've done there. Eights. Eights are done. Nines. Nines are done. Now let's go to these vertical blocks. Ones. Well, we don't have all the ones yet. Twos. Well, this is interesting. Here we have a center, a right. It has to be here. It can't be there because that's a part of a matching pair. So this becomes a two. And this becomes a one because one can, we wonder and only had two opportunities. What does that mean? Well, what it means is we have a center, we have a right. Over here it has to be on the left, but when you look across here, we've already got, we can't be there, it has to be here. So that cancels out this one. This becomes a one. And if that becomes a one, because we had two sixes here, this becomes the six. That was, that was a good move. If that's a one, let's look at the ramifications here, this becomes a one. So that's good. Now, because of that one, we're, we can get rid of this one. So we're left with two, four, six. Well, we have a two, four, and a six in this row. So therefore, these are, must be the numbers. You see that? That's something you haven't seen before. We have a two, four, six in this row. So you cannot have a two, four, or six there. Therefore, the two, four, six goes in these three cells. Now we can work out what's going to go there by counting one, two, three, four, five. Five is missing, so we can put it right there. There's a new little technique. Now because of that, what are the ramifications? Five, five, left, center, has to be this. This becomes the five. If that becomes a five, look at this. That gets rid of this five, so this becomes a three. That three now makes this a seven. And we've... We've really got a couple of rows now with only one left. Let's fill them in. What's missing in this one? It's a seven. One, two, three, four. This is missing a seven. Okay. Therefore, right, left, this becomes your seven. And if this is a seven and that's a seven, we can rub that out now. Seven, seven, this becomes a seven. And therefore, this becomes a seven, seven, this becomes the five. Middle, top, bottom. Um, no, we, no, sorry, I should explain. It doesn't come to five. We had a four there, didn't we? And the four could only go there and there. Because we got rid of that four, this becomes the four. And therefore, this becomes the five. And let's see what that does. That's a five, five, five. That's good. Now we're left with a four that can go here and here. If that's because that's the only place a four can go, and because of those two little numbers, this one becomes a four. Now we could have worked that out, boiled the egg a different way, or cooked the egg a different way. We could have looked along the top and noticed that there was a four missing. What's the ramifications of that four now? Right, left, this becomes the four. That becomes a four. And let's check that out. We have a four here, we have a four here. And you may say, why couldn't it have gone down there? We can rub that out now. The reason is that we know that there's going to be a four in here. Now the little new technique. So we've now got the fours there. Wow, we're really making good progress. Um, now I think I saw something where there was only one number left. Yes, I think it was. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Oh yeah, see this three? See that three? We didn't look at the ramifications. We were going too fast. It's so easy to do that when you get excited because you go boom, 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 boom. Oh, you get excited. Next thing you know, you made a, you missed something or made a mistake. 
that becomes a 6, and this becomes a 3. Let's have a look at the ramifications of that. If that's a 3, that's a 3, that fits. This is a 6, that's a 6, that's a 6. This becomes a 6, so therefore we can rub out that one. And watch how this works. When you get three numbers, three cells, oh man, it's, it's very good. Right, left, center. Check that out. Top, bottom, middle. Yep. See if that 6 cancels this out, 6 out, so we've got a 2. And that fits here. Can you count down there? As you can see. Um, which, uh, and therefore this becomes the 4. This, that 4 has a ramification of several things. First of all, um, this 4 cancels out that 4, so therefore this comes a, before it comes, it becomes a 4. And now we've only got one left in here, and that is a 1, 2. It's a 2. Good. Now I remember, I always mention this, and I mention this frequently, you may have done this puzzle, seen things at different times, seen and made different moves, all, all legitimate, and finished up going a different route. And that quite often happens. Um, let me see now. Oh, I got lost track there for a second. Oh, look, we have a 7. We put a 7 in there, and that's 7, which means that this one of these becomes a 7. If you look at this 7 and that 7, this has to be the 7. And again, something did I miss that I should have put in as a ramification. Fine, so now we don't have a 7 in here. We have, what do we have? 2 left in here. 2 left would be, let's have a look, 1, 2, 3. 3 is there, 4, that's a 5, I think. 3, 5? 3, 5. Yes, it is a 3, 5. So we can put that in, that'll help us. And they're a matching pair. Now, let's see. What have we got around here that we could use? If this is a 3, 5, look at this folks. Here we have, in this row here, we have two, we have a matching pair, 3, 5, and over here it's a 3, 5. But look, look right in here, we have a 5. So that becomes your 3, that becomes your 3, and this becomes your 5. And because that's a 5, this becomes a 3. And we're making progress here. Now I think we've only got one left. Well, because of that 3, we didn't do the ramifications of that. 3, this becomes a 9. And this becomes a 3. I think we're on the home stretch. Check it. 9, 9, 9, 3, 3, 3. Correct. And there's only one left, which we could either do by counting along this row or counting in this block. Uh, let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five is missing. Let's check it out to see if we're right. We can check both ways. We can go top, middle, uh, sort of center, right, left, or we can go this way. Uh, bottom, middle, top. And folks, we have solved it. And I hope you've picked up a few little clues from that puzzle. Hang in there. Don't try to do too many difficult puzzles too soon. That's the thought of today. Bye for now.